Hello everybody. In this video, we will try to solve a question based on section of solids. Question is, a cylinder a cylinder is resting on its base, uh, base upon HP. It is cut by a plane inclined at 45 degrees to HP, meeting the axis at a distance of 16 mm from the top. If the diameter of a cylinder is 44 mm and the length is 60 mm, draw the project projections of the sectioned cylinder in top view and true shape of section. So this is a 15 marks question and the simple position gives the, the mark distribution is like this the scheme. A simple position is 4 marks. Marking of section plane is 2 marks. Section Sectional top view gi gives uh, 3 marks. True shape of section 5 marks and dimensioning and neatness 1 mark. So first since the, it's a, a cylinder of diameter 44 mm and height is 60 mm. The top view is a circle of diameter 44 mm and front view is a uh, is a rectangle of 60 mm. Draw this. Draw a circle of 44 mm diameter and uh, height 60 mm. A, a rectangle of front view is a rectangle of 60 mm. So after drawing that circle of 44 mm diameter, divide that into 12 equal divisions by taking 30 degrees each. Okay, from here. Each each angle should be 30 degrees. So you'll get 12 divisions here. 1, 2, 3 up to 11. Okay. And 1. So uh, 44 mm diameter circle. You want to divide that into 12 divisions by taking 30 degrees each angle. Okay. Now project all these points to the uh, the axis reference line. And since height is this height is 60 mm, from this center point, you mark height of the object 60 mm and draw that rectangle. Each point you are projecting here, you want to draw that. Uh, generators over the cylinder okay so from each point you are getting 12 points here each point you want to draw straight lines up to 60 mm height so you'll, uh, top view is a circle of diameter 44 mm and front view is a rectangle of 60 mm all uh, height and um, 44 mm so, so top, top view is a circle of diameter 44 mm and front view is a rectangle of width 44 mm and height uh, 60 mm Okay, now since the section plane is passing through a distance, uh, th passing through a point which is at a distance of 16 mm from top face, from here you mark 16 mm here and you draw a straight line like this. And at a given angle, angle given is uh, 45 mm. So through this point, okay, you just draw a line at an angle 40, 45 degrees. Okay, first you mark a point at 16 mm from top, draw a straight line like this, and through that point you draw. A line at 40, 45 degrees like this. So that line you are meeting uh, this section plane will meet some point here. Those points we will name it as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash and 7 dash here, 8 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash and 11 dash. Here since this is the uh, since this is the base upper base you have two points here uh, and this extreme line you have only one point all other po uh, lines you have two points. Okay. So that's why here we have one point only. All other points you have two points. Okay. So after getting this line, this mark, after marking these points, you just drop this point that is six dash and seven dash to the baseline, like this six and seven. Okay. Now this entire portion is removed portion. This section plane removes this portion, this triangular portion. So in top view. Front view, this triangular portion is removed, and in top view, this this portion is removed. So the that point, that entire circle, part of that circle, uh, left of this straight line should be, should be hatched at an angle 45 degrees. So you, and here you can name those points one, two, three like this. Okay. Now, so this is the sectional top view, and this is the sectional front view, showing the the front. Uh, this is the sectional top view, and this is the section. Uh, the, the front view showing the section plane. Now you want to show the. Now you want to show the. Uh, true shape to to show the true shape. You have some points here. Uh, from all these eleven points, you draw lines perpendicular to this section plane, like this. Okay. Through all these points, you want to draw lines perpendicular to this line. Okay. This line draw a line perpendicular again from two dash you draw a line perpendicular like this so you'll get some points here or some lines here okay now you just draw a, another line parallel to this line pa like this okay anywhere this line you can draw anywhere now to get the true shape what you want to do is just measure the distance from this reference axis 
to this point 1 okay reference axis to point 1 that distance you mark from this new line do section new axis like this this distance this distance to here this distance you mark from here to here another is 2 the distance from reference axis to 2 this distance reference axis to 2 that you that distance you mark from second line from here to here then again this distance to 3 this reference axis to 3 that distance you mark on the third line like this 3 then from here to 4 this distance from here to 4 you mark from here to 4 like this from this line to 4 then 5 distance from reference axis to 5 this distance from the reference axis to 5 that distance you mark here like this then distance from reference axis to 6 and 7 6 and 7 ok 6 and 7 you mark from here 6 from here to 6 and 7 so in th then remaining points also uh, from here to 8 from here to 9 from here to 10 and here to 11 those distance you mark here 8 9 10 and 11 ok so connect that by using a smooth curve this line should be a straight line here it should be you have to use a freehand sketch freehand uh, curve like this smooth curve so that you can get the true shape of section so this is the uh, sectional front view this is the section this is the front view showing the section plane this is front view this is section plane which is at a distance of 16 mm from top this is the sectional top view showing the hatching and this is the true shape of section hope you understood this, this uh, how to solve this question Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much.